Welcome to the Ancient Alternative View. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Why Roman concrete still stands strong while modern version decays. Their structures are still standing more than 1500 years after the last centurion snuffed it. Now the Roman secret of durable marine concrete has finally been cracked. The Roman recipe, a mix of volcanic ash, lime, calcium oxide, seawater and lumps of volcanic rock held together piers, breakwaters and harbours. Moreover, in contrast to modern materials, the ancient water-based structures became stronger over time. Scientists say this is a result of seawater reacting with the volcanic material in the cement and creating new materials that reinforce the concrete. They spent a tremendous amount of work on developing this. They were very, very intelligent people, said Marie Jackson, a geologist at the University of Utah and co-author of a study into Roman structures. As the authors note, the Romans were aware of the virtues of their concrete, with Pliny the Elder waxing lyrical in his natural history, what it is impregnable to the waves and every day stronger. Now they say they've worked out why. Writing in the journal, American mineralogist Jackson and colleagues describe they analyse concrete cores from Roman piers, breakwaters and harbours. Previous work had revealed lime particles within the core that surprisingly contain the mineral aluminous terbormerite, a rare substance that is hard to make. The mineral said Jackson formed early in the history of the concrete as the lime, seawater and volcanic ash, the mortar reacted together in a way that generated heat. But now Jackson and the team have made another discovery. I went back to the concrete and found abundant taborumite growing through the fabric of the concrete, often in association with philipsite and other mineral, she said. She said this revealed another process that was also at play over time. Sea water that seeped through the concrete dissolved the volcanic crystals and glasses with aluminous taborumite and philipsite, crystallising in their place. These minerals say the authors help to reinforce the concrete preventing cracks from growing, with structures becoming even stronger over time as the minerals grew. By contrast, modern concrete based on Portland cement is not supposed to change after it hardens, meaning any reactions with the material cause damage. Jackson said, I think the research opens up a completely new perspective for how concrete can be made. That what we consider corrosion process can actually produce extremely beneficial material cement and lead to continued resilience. In fact, enhance perhaps resilience over time. The findings offer clues for a concrete recipe that does not rely on the high temperatures and carbon dioxide production of modern cement, but also providing a blueprint for durable construction material for use in marine environments. Jackson has previously argued Roman concrete should be used to build the seawall for the Swansea Lagoon. There's many applications, but further work is needed to create those mixes. We've started, but there is a lot of fine tuning that needs to happen. The challenge is to develop methods that we can use common volcanic products and that this is actually what we are doing right now. If it is only possible in 2019 for us to replicate such a marvel as Roman concrete, is it not possible that our even more ancient past could have been used in the same methods? Even in some cases, maybe geopolymer could explain quite a lot. I would love to hear your ancient alternative views. Thank you very much for watching today's small episode on geopolymer and Roman concrete. Now, what I'd like to ask you guys is for your overall opinion on the new new layout and the new presentation. I don't want to lose my personal approach when I'm talking about things that I want to talk about in depth. I will still be going on screen. I'd like to make a massive thank you to the Lost History Channel for all your help and all your expertise in well, doing what you've done for me. You've been an absolute legend. Thanks ever so much. Not only a good channel, but a very, very good man. Uh, you should all get across to his channel. Have a look. Vlad, excellent as always this week. You've been absolutely fantastic. CF Apps, as always, the main man. Very, very good. Big shout out to Ancient History Criticisms. Uh, we'd like to see you back soon. All the very best to you. 
and I wish you all the very best for your day. Remember, there's always an ancient alternative view. This is the place where everyone's opinion matters. Remember, the truth has been hidden and covered for many years, so all theories to our ancient past are on the table. I look forward to hearing your views. Please like, comment and subscribe below. Thank you. Remember, there's always an ancient alternative view. Thank you for watching.